Hey Fabos, this is Nikki from Call Me Ruby. I pray you're having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. Listen, I want to welcome my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so elated to have you. And it is indeed my prayer that you're blessed, encouraged, and the Father confirms so much via this channel. Listen, you all, I'm sitting in the parking lot preparing to go into the grocery store. And there's a message that's been brewing in my spirit. Well, it's not really a message. It's more of a short word of encouragement. Upon waking up this morning, the first thing the Father brought to my spirit was that it was indeed 8-11. Catch that in the spirit. It is 8-11, August the 11th, and the Father's been showing so many of us 8-11 or either eight alone or 11 alone and together and before i had been thinking of these numbers separately you know eight means new beginnings and 11 can mean transitions new things open doors all those sorts of things it just really boils down to what the father has revealed to your spirit as it pertains to what these numbers mean to you and why he is showing you these numbers but yesterday i was made aware that it could also mean prodigals and i've heard quite a few words as it pertains to prodigals returning to the father, prodigals returning to their homes, and even those of us who know who our kingdom spouse is, who were separated from them for a divine purpose, he's saying they are now coming home. And how strategic was it that the father began to pour this message into so many voices as this time near? So like I said, upon waking up this morning, he dropped in my spirit. Today is 8-11 and that just brought forth a few things that had occurred yesterday that I want to share with you all and before I go on let me mention that the father always confirms in one way or the other if he wants me to share something right before I was preparing to hit the record button to record this I decided to check my email because I just feel like it's going to be confirmation. I just knew it. And so I checked my Gmail. And the first thing I see is an email from a dear friend of mine. And the title says, Friday, 8-11. And she had literally typed in 8-11 as one number because of what it means. So listen, y'all. The Father is wanting you to know that. Pay attention to what he does on today. And know in your spirit that today is indeed a day of transition. That's something special supernatural divine brewing in the atmosphere today and if you tap into it the father will cause you to be aware of all that he is doing in this day listen yesterday i was getting some food and there was this clearance bar you know how when you're driving there's a clearance bar that lets other drivers and vehicles know that you can't go under this bar if you are over the height requirement it takes to go under that safely hear that in the spirit this particular clearance bar said there was an 8 to 10 inch clearance, meaning you could not be above the 8 or 10 inches. Listen, there was a cutoff at 10 that said if you tried to go under this bar, if you tried to pass this way and you were above that, it would not work. It would not be safe. And it wasn't because it wasn't yours. The things in this place of clearance, they were always yours. But it was not the Father's set time. He had to make sure all things were aligned because your story, your testimony, your ministry, it all depended on this moment in time. What I'm trying to get to is that I have felt in my spirit that August the 8th through August the 10th was very strategic as it pertains to what the Father was doing in the spirit realm. I have felt that there was so much happening. And as I saw that clearance bar yesterday and the Father unctioned my spirit to pay attention to it, what I'm hearing now is that August the 8th through August the 10th was indeed a time when the Father was causing much to take place in the spirit realm as it pertains to these unions and what he's going to cause you to do in these unions. Things were being shifted, aligned. So much was happening and I have felt this in my spirit the last few days, but I did not know how to really express it or I had not taken the time to really sit down and allow Holy Spirit to flow and speak into this. So listen, as he's bringing this to my spirit right now, I am just so excited to know that yes, 
you were feeling what I was doing in the spirit realm as it pertains to these connections. And listen, you all, that was a cutoff as it pertains to what the Father had been doing. It is complete. And even as I'm speaking now, I recall that as I logged onto my Facebook today, there was a friend of mine who had posted it is finished and she had added these running emojis these celebration emojis and just dancing but she did not say what it was about and so listen the fact that the holy spirit brought that back to my spirit now and even allowed me to see that is saying it is complete that clearance ball represented the fact that we now have clearance and how strategic was it that it said eight inches to ten inch clearance and the eighth ninth and tenth were the days in which I felt so much happening in the spirit realm. And today, it being August the 11th, he's saying, you have entered in. You have entered into this new beginning, this new place, this open door that will open unto you. To further support what I was feeling in my spirit as it pertains to the dates of August the 8th through August the 10th, August the 8th was the day the Father showed me the big reveal for the third time. And it was the day that I began to film this message. And not only that, he also had me to take note of the time in which I saw the words, the big reveal. And like I shared with you all in the last video, it was indeed 8-11. Listen, how much more intentional can God be? But it wasn't until August 10th that I actually uploaded it. I finished it on the 9th, but for whatever reason, I didn't upload it till the 10th. Very strategic on the Father's part. As I look back, I see why he had it work out that way. The days of August the 8th and August the 10th were very significant for so many of us. And the Father will indeed reveal to you why that is in the coming days as he reveals so much to so many. Please take this back to the Father to ensure this is for you. And as much as it may hurt some people or frustrate some people or whatever to hear that this is not for everyone. You just want to always be flowing with the Holy Spirit and just being honest and letting people know, make sure that this is indeed confirmation to what you already know. The Holy Spirit should have already been downloading things about these words, this message to you before you hear my voice. Now there are times when you will hear these prophetic words and these voices and He will begin to reveal to you things in that moment. That indeed does happen. But these messages should be confirmation to where you know you already are. And it's because the Father's already been showing you this in your secret time with Him. As I drove under that clearance that said 8 inches to 10 inches I see that as a window a window of time in which the father was doing much preparing us allowing the final touches to be applied getting us ready spiritually physically and in whatever else was necessary to receive these things he's ushering us into now this big reveal this place of transition as it is now August the 11th 8 11 and I just beckon you to pay attention to the things he's speaking to you on today is doing on today because today is going to be just amazing if you open your spiritual eyes and spiritual ears something the Holy Spirit just brought to my spirit is that yesterday as I was walking to my car to go get this food before even seeing the 8 inch 10 inch clearance bar I saw two butterflies two yellow butterflies flying together it looked as if they were doing a mating dance they were just flying together in a circle they were just all over the place and they were flying around these beautiful purple flowers and they would just take turns getting on the flower they would fly from flower to flower they would do so together and separately and it was just a beautiful dance and that is just representative of what the father is doing in these unions he has brought you two together for a divine purpose and when you two come together it will be as if you're dancing to what the Father has already wrote for you. You're not simply walking it out. You're dancing it out. And the Holy Spirit is just so fun. What he just brought to my spirit were those, um, I don't know what you call them, but you know how when you're learning how to dance, sometimes these studios or whatever will have those little um, patterns on the floor of where to put your foot. You do this, you do that. That's what I saw in the Spirit. The Father has already prepared this dance. And he's already given you the pattern. 
He's already given you the, the form and all the things that go along with this dance. He gave it to you individually and he's about to give it to you together as he unites you two, as we have been ushered into this new place, this new beginning, this new season. Do not fret. Do not worry about what you will do. The father has said, I already have the steps planned out for you. You simply have to follow what I have already set in motion, set in place, and you will be successful. You will be successful. And as I'm saying that, I'm thinking about the Isaac and Rebecca story and how as the servant for Abraham was praying for God to give him success as it pertained to finding the wife of God's choosing for Isaac. He prayed, Lord God, give me success. Give me success on my trip. And as we know from the story, that is indeed what happened. The father had already went ahead of this servant and had set up the whole scene. And he indeed did achieve success as it pertains to finding the wife that the father had chose for Isaac. And the father just wanted you to know he has already gone ahead of you and given you success. You will experience his divine success. And as you begin to take steps together as a couple, as a union that he's brought together for these end times, you will experience his success because you will easily, supernaturally flow in his divine flow. When God brings two individuals together, there is a huge difference. I'm not saying perfection, but the unions the Father is bringing together will be centered around Him, grounded in Him. He will be their cornerstone. Even the things that we encounter that try to, you know, bring distractions to kind of unsettle us or whatever, He's going to bring solutions and He's going to bring them fast. He's going to cause us to know how to communicate with one another in a manner that is healthy and effective for what he's calling us to. These unions will look different in that they will ooze the glory of God. And it's because it's representative of what he is doing for the church right now. He is reconciling us, his rib unto himself for these end times. And because of that, he's sending us out. He's sending us forth to do so many things to gather the flock and listen. For so many of us, it was a must. There was no other way we could go further until he connected us with our spouse. We've gone as far as we can go alone. We've done the work. We've prayed for one another. We've built the groundwork. We've done everything we needed to do. And there's nothing left to do but to be reconciled with our spouse. And that is what he's doing. And that is what he's speaking into my spirit on this age 11. Enter into this new beginning. Enter into this union with gladness, with joy. Like I heard upon waking one morning after dreaming about my kingdom spouse, it's time to plan ministry together. And listen, you all, as he begins to bring us together with our spouses, watch Watch how easily these things come together. Watch how he just drops in and provides everything that is needed for what you two have been called to do together. The Holy Spirit is bringing to my spirit a dream. Oh, I don't know if it was a dream or a vision. But I remember I was just waking up one morning and I heard things are going to come with an ease. Where so many people strived and did A, B, and C to get the things that are now being ushered into your life. It will come with an ease to you because it is the set time and these are things that I have chosen for you. Things that I have set up for you. You're not striving after things that were not yours. You're not striving after things that were not meant to be acquired in this time. These things are coming to you with ease because it is your set time and because they are things that I have lined up for you and the beautiful thing about this vision or dream or whatever it was i can't really distinguish right now but it was being said by a pastor that i'm familiar with and if you don't know when you have a dream about a pastor or a, a minister or anyone of that nature it's representative of it being sent by god divine instructions a divine message so pay attention to that in most cases so it's just so beautiful that the father brings that back to me now because he's wanting you all to know, those of you who this message is for, that when he unites you with your kingdom spouse, the things he has set up for you, the assignments, the provision that is needed, he said, it will come with an ease. Because I have had these things stored up for you for this time. You will not have to strive. And I'm hearing Amos 9, 13, as you walk into this new place together, as you plan ministry together, 
Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit just brought back the dancing again. How we are in a season of dancing, of much joy. All those beautiful things. He brings to my mind those butterflies again. Those yellow butterflies I saw yesterday as I was preparing to go get food. And they were so huge. I've been seeing really huge butterflies for the last few weeks. I've never seen butterflies so big as I have lately. But these were indeed two beautiful yellow butterflies and it seems like they had some kind of design on them um i was trying to get my phone out in time but i did not like i said i was walking to my car to leave so i just stood there and just took in the moment but before i conclude i want to share that yesterday i was just feeling so much love for my kingdom spouse and i was feeling as if the father was doing so much in my kingdom spouse yesterday there was just this love that was just how do i explain it it was as if it was indeed a big reveal i just kept feeling as if that there was so much being downloaded there was so much that had been happening in the last few days and it was just so overwhelming i just kept feeling it all day yesterday so i'm feeling in my spirit that 10 definitely 10 was a powerful day for so many and i am so looking forward to testimonies based around this because i know that for many of us who are in our season and who the father has called to my channel you were experiencing something very significant yesterday you or your spouse those of you who know who they are and even those of you who don't know who they are just because he hasn't revealed to you who they are does not mean that all these things are not happening i guarantee you they most likely are now listen like i shared in the last video the enemy had been trying it okay he'd been trying it and that is not very common for me i have been solid this whole kingdom spouse journey in which he began to reveal to me things about my kingdom spouse two years ago but it has been solid i never doubted I always had a peace. I was never in this rush mode. I never wanted to rush the Father. I never felt like I needed to rush the Father. I was just at peace about it all. And that's all glory to God, not anything that I boast in of myself. That is all God. And I know it's because He wanted me to be in a position and a posture to encourage you all, to uplift you all, and to be able to offer to you all what He was wanting to deposit. But the last few days before the 8th, hear that in the spirit when these things were you know happening i was been attacking my dreams and i was just beginning to have these random thoughts that never ever crossed my mind and i knew i knew it was the enemy and i immediately began to you know bind it pray about it and do whatever the father was leading me to do but i say all that to say it was because he knew about the eight through the tenth day clearance and he was doing whatever he could to so many of us in our minds, in our dreams, or whatever other avenue, to distract us, to kind of get our minds off of what we knew was happening. And I apologize if I'm skipping all over the place. The Holy Spirit is just flowing, okay? I literally just hit record and didn't know where he was going to take this. I just knew he wanted to share a word on today because of its significance. As I drove under that eight to 10 inch clearance bar yesterday i made a mental note that when i got home or in a position to do so i was going to look up the word clearance because i know it's going to speak even more so first i looked up the word clear and i looked it up in the king james dictionary and it states open free from obstruction as a clear plat of ground the way is clear are you smelling what the rock is cooking you all he is saying the way has been made clear it is clear of obstructions it is clear to anything that was previously in your way whether it be pertaining to you or your kingdom spouse but what i'm feeling so deep in my spirit is that for so many of us who have been in this divine separation because it was something we indeed had to go through to prepare us for this now to be united again reconciled together again he's saying the way has been made clear that it is free of obstruction it also said free from clouds or fog serene as a clear day hallelujah you all i am getting so excited there is something about when i read free of clouds fog serene as a clear day that just 
did something in my spirit because some some of our ordained spouses or even us have been in this fog have been like in the clouds it's like we could not see the full picture we could not see everything that the father was saying and doing while we may have been getting you know tidbits here and there there was still this fog when you're driving and there's fog you can still see it's just hard to see you just can't see as clearly as you normally would and oftentimes you have to cut on the lights to be able to see a little better hear that in the spirit so many of our dang spouses before that clearance of eight through 10 August 8 through 10 they were somewhat in a fog while they may have been getting tidbits here and there but whatever reason they were not getting the full picture it was not clear to them but listen the father has said he has given them clearance clearance and they now see clearly just as that definition said serene a clear day it's like night and day and that is what is happening as we have entered into this August the 11th for so many of us. Now this is for a select group. I want to keep saying that and I pray that those of you whom this is for, it will stir your spirit. You will know without a doubt that this is for you because it's confirming what you already know and your spirit is being unctioned and you're excited and you're full of joy and expectancy and you know this is your time and you are about to be reconciled to your spouse. It is go time. It is the big reveal. And what the Holy Spirit just revealed as well is that for some of you, your ordained spouses have known who you are, but they hadn't got the clearance yet. The Father had to give them clearance to pursue you. So for some of you, that is what was also taking place in these last few days as the Father prepared them for their pursuit for what he's calling you two to do together. Let me share another definition with you all that I saw when I looked up clear. This one is something. Free from foreign matter. Free from foreign matter. And the first thing that came to my spirit was free from counterfeits. Free from distractions that were sent by the enemy. For some of you, you may have had to witness you may have had to go through your spouse who the father showed you as your spouse with someone else in a relationship with someone else and it was hard it was difficult i can only imagine what that had been like that was not my story but i know a lot of you have had to go through that and my heart has really gone out to you because i i can't imagine but listen when i read that free from foreign matter i heard what i had received in a previous message that listen the father has opened their eyes to the fact that this is indeed foreign matter that individual did not come from him and it's not even that they're not good people that they're not good individuals some may be awesome people but if they're not the one of god's choosing it is foreign in nature it is not his choice and it will not last. He would not allow it to last. If this individual is submitted to the Father, fully submitted to the Father and seeking his will for their lives, his perfect plan for their lives, it was only a matter of time before the Father opened their eyes to the fact that this is not yours. This is foreign matter. So for those of you whose spouses were in relationships with a counterfeit, the Father is saying he has cleared the fog it is a new clear day the clouds have been removed and they're seeing you for who you are they're seeing the road the father has paved out for them another definition said free from anything that creates doubt or uncertainty things are now apparent evident manifest hear that as the big reveal not obscure conspicuous and listen those things can pertain to you and your ordained spouse because the enemy has indeed tried to stir up doubt obscurity all kinds of foolery to get both of you questioning is this really you lord is this even your set time and a whole bunch of other foolery but the father is saying that there has been a clearing he has given you clearance therefore those things on either end He's diminished. They are no more. And there are so many definitions for this word in the King James Dictionary. But I'm going to move on to the last definition that really just stood out to me. And it stated, evident, undeniable, indisputable, as the victory was clear. Listen, 
that part right there, let me repeat that. As the victory was clear, the Holy Spirit is saying the victory is clear. There is no more room for doubt. Uncertainty. It is evident what the Father is doing. He has made things evident in this time. And you're about to see things manifest right before your eyes. You're about to see these things tangibly. The definition said indisputable. That's nothing. That's nothing that can dispute what the Father has said yes to and what is happening now. Listen, I'm trying to stay calm, but I just feel that this day for many of us is going to be so, so very eye-opening, so victorious, so glorious. In fact, as I say that, I remember hearing in my spirit as I woke up this morning, today is going to be a glorious day. Whatever that means to you, that can mean different things for so many, but the Father is saying, today is going to be a glorious day. So walk in expectancy. Be open to what the Father is showing you and saying to you, because listen, it's a beautiful time. And you all know how I am. As I say that, why did that song, was it Mr. Rogers? <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? So I looked at the lyrics of that song. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and I was just blown away. Although the original message behind that song was about, you know, wanting someone to be their neighbor. What the Holy Spirit brought to me is how that is how our kingdom spouses are feeling about us and vice versa. Let's now look at the lyrics. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor. I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I have always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Listen, Holy Spirit is just so amazing. I had no idea that when he dropped that in my spirit, that those lyrics were what they were. It had been such a long time since I heard that song and how he just caused me to see that in the spirit as it pertains to what he's doing in the unions. Listen, y'all, I am blown away. The neighborhood that has been spoken of is kingdom. It's kingdom. It's what the Father has been building for such a time as this. And you being their neighbor, them wanting you to be their neighbor, is them saying, listen, let's do this thing together. Again, like I heard, it's time to plant ministry together. It's time to plant ministry together. They want you to be their neighbor. They want to do kingdom business with you. They want you to be their neighbor. And they say, you are a beauty. You are a beauty. Everything the Father has fostered in you, caused you to be for such a time as this, is everything that I desire. They're seeing you as beautiful. And that's not just physically. That's spiritually. That's all that you are that will complement them. They are in love with you. And like I said yesterday, I just had this overwhelming knowing that they were being filled with love for you most of us have already felt this love for these individuals because god has already told us who they were and we've been praying for them and standing for them and because of that this love this supernatural divine love has been building up within us and we're just so ready to show them physically naturally in every way possible that listen i love you you are the man that God chose for me. And if you're a male, just flip it around to make it work for you. The Father's been preparing you to be with this woman. He's been causing you to realize what you were put here to do so she can come alongside you and assist you to add to. And it was in that moment that I had to abruptly end the message. 
as I said, and I didn't realize this until I got back in to edit, as I said, the father had to show these individuals, these men who they were, so the woman could come alongside them and assist them. There was a knock on the passenger side of my window, and I looked to my right to see this man standing there smiling. And I'm like, what in tarnation? But it was a guy, you all, who was complimenting me on my beauty. And as I say that, I think about the verse in the song. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yes, he was complimenting me on my beauty. And he was wanting to know if we could exchange numbers. Listen, how intentional was that? I did not think about that until after the fact. I was like, you know, he didn't just bust up in my video like this. <laughs> But after the fact, I said the timing of that was just too much. He knocks on my window as I'm talking about these individuals wanting to do kingdom business with us, wanting to partner with us. I was going to include it because I found that the video was still playing at one portion of the conversation. But I decided not to do that because it's just I don't want to invade the guy's privacy. But at one point he was saying he would enjoy my company. And I couldn't help but chuckle because I thought about how I had just quoted those lyrics from Mr. Rogers and how he was just going on and on about won't you be won't you be won't you be my neighbor even to the point of saying please can you be my neighbor and what stood out about this encounter and how the father indeed did use it to confirm where we are this individual was so persistent I have never had a male who was just so persistent who just took as much time as he did to try and get me to give him my information granted he was respectful with it I was like he is not giving up there was even a point where he got in his car started his car up and proceeded to leave but then he stopped and he got out again and said are you sure are you sure we can exchange numbers maybe I can just give you mine listen you all these kingdom spouses the one that God chose for you are at this point the father is playing no games with these individuals and they are at a place or are going to be at a place for some of you in which they're saying listen I have to be around you I have to be in your presence I want to be your neighbor I want to be your husband I want to be whatever it is I just need to be around you and that is what I got from this individual because listen he was not playing around so listen the father is doing it you all in fact he has done it and we are about to experience these individuals saying listen i just want to be where you are you hear that that's another message the father gave me a while back as it pertains to these ordained spouses saying i just want to be where you are i can't stand to be without you any longer so listen you all i could not wait to get home to add this part before i upload it i was finishing off this video as i was sitting at a gas station finishing off this video and i decided to listen to it as i drove home and listen it got to the part where it said these prodigals are coming home and right as i said that a butterfly a huge butterfly which was multicolored, flew across the windshield it was the most beautiful thing and I just knew that it was the Father confirming that which he had spoken. Isn't that just so awesome, you all? This has all blessed me on today. Holy Spirit, is there anything else? I don't think there is. So listen, be expectant today. I'm going to try and get this out as soon as I can. I'm not even going to add the extra stuff I used to add to it. Like the pictures and the images and all that stuff because I want to get this out as soon as possible because I just truly believe that today is going to be a monumental day for so many of us when we look back on this day we're going to see all the father did in this day as it pertains to not only our kingdom unions but our purpose in fact I encourage you to take some time to spend with the father on today to make sure there's nothing that you missed to make sure there's nothing he wants to download add to this message or whatever because I just know that I know you all that much is happening in the spirit realm that we are about to experience tangibly some even today it's an exciting time and I'm so thrilled the father calls us to journey together as we are about to celebrate these fulfilled promises and all that the father is going to do through these unions
so i love you guys so very much thank you to those of you who have sown into this ministry listen may god bless you a thousandfold and then some may he cause increase to break forth in every area of your lives so i love you guys so very much listen keep the comments coming keep the testimonies coming your comments have blessed me beyond measure listen i cried screamed squealed laughed all of that as I read the messages from you all yesterday, the Father is moving and He used so many of you guys to confirm so much and the Holy Spirit was just dropping so much yesterday as I read your comments. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Any day now you all be expecting and share those testimonies. I love you guys so very much and until the next video, toodles.